All right, welcome back to Hannity. It's time to unveil the very first installment of our Hannity Great American series. Tonight, our very own Ainsley Earhart profiles the emotional and heartwarming story of one great American and his incredible fight to triumph over tragedy. Take a look at this. John Tartaglio grew up with a passion for sports. He was a great athlete, playing baseball and football at Ferran High School in Milford, Connecticut. But in 2004, his senior year, when life was just getting started, his athletic aspirations were crushed. I had this really intense pain um, in my legs, and I knew something was wrong, so I got up and I told my parents what was going on, and they called the doctor as soon as they could. I went in, a bunch of them came into the room, then I was put under, and the next time that I woke up, I was on a stretcher. What was that moment like when you first woke up and you found out what happened? It was heartbreaking. My parents, they couldn't bring themselves at that point to tell me what had happened, so a nurse um, came in and told me. My whole life, in a matter of one night, it changed. John was diagnosed with an extremely rare muscle-eating bacterial infection, and in order to save his life, doctors had no choice but to amputate both of his legs at his hips. I went from perfectly healthy, hanging out with my friends, doing everything that a normal 17-year-old was doing in high school, to what is my life going to be like. It was a big shock. Faced with the grim prognosis of never walking again, John was determined to triumph over this tragedy. I had set a goal, what started out, um, to walk with my class to receive my high school diploma. So I worked in rehab. I worked really to prepare myself to be able to have a shot at walking. Just four months after being robbed of both legs, John walked across that graduation stage and received his high school diploma. But that was just the beginning. John's prosthetist had bigger things in mind for him. He said, I have an opportunity. If you're up for it, he's like, have you ever thought about running? And I said, do you really think that I can do that? And there was no hesitation, just complete belief and confidence in what I can do. It was more or less the way that he talked to me, and it was it was the confidence that he had. Have to give me a minute. With newfound confidence and a new set of legs, John was literally off and running. It was my senior year that I completed a 10K, which led to triathlon and a half Ironman, which led to the marathon. In 2009, John became the first ever double amputee to finish the New York City Marathon without a wheelchair. He crossed the finish line in 15 hours and 59 minutes and never looked back. years of hard work to overcome his disability also prepared him for his greatest challenge of all, becoming a husband and a father. John is just a phenomenal husband, he's a phenomenal father, and seeing him as a father is just, a, it's amazing to watch him grow that way. After all your struggles, did it all come full circle when you held your little girl for the first time? Seeing Lily holding her for the first time was, it was just the most unbelievable moment and despite all that he has been through and had to overcome surprisingly john says he wouldn't change a thing i don't think i would have met the amazing people that i have i don't think i, I just i don't know if i would have been able to expect as much as i do out of myself without it happening and here to explain more, Fox and Friends first, co-host Ainsley Earhart, um, you know, kind of puts our little problems in life into perspective, doesn't it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What an incredible man. And he's gone on to do so much after I, I this tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, he's written a book. Here's his book, From yeah. Tragedy to Triumph. Right. He's 27 years old, married, a child. He's now finishing up his MBA. Yeah, he's gone family. to college. Yeah. And he says, you heard it in the piece, he wouldn't change a thing. What? But they do, to this day, they don't know what causes. this. They say it was a, a rare bacterial infection. Yeah. Because it's so rare, it took doctors days to find out or to figure out what was going on because he was in so much pain. Right. He was put in ICU, and doctors didn't know what was going on. Finally, when did he meet his wife? I was curious. He met her afterwards, years later, in a bar. They were there with some friends, and she spotted him sitting down, and I said, you know, you're an incredible individual because... You have a lot ahead of you, or you probably thought you did when you met him. And she said, I wouldn't trade it for the world. She said, it did never bothered me. Never even an issue. What, I noticed that he has like sort of one prosthetic coming Yeah, because.
because he, why? he his legs were amputated. Normally, if you're an amputee, you have at least a little bit of a leg that will go down in the prosthetic. Right. But he doesn't have that option because they had to amputate his legs so high, right at his hip bone. So he doesn't have any legs at all. So they, they made a belt type prosthetic with that one looks like almost a ski. And he, and, and he ran the New York City he, Marathon. First double amputee to finish the New York City Marathon. Amazing. That's yeah, a great American. 15 great hours story. and 59 minutes. A tragedy to triumph. Perfect. Yeah, he's, per an, he's an awesome guy. You have to get his book, From Tragedy to Triumph. I'm taking yours. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's autographed to me. We'll get you one. All right. Thanks, Ainsley. <laughs> All right, and that is all the time we have left this evening. Before we go, don't forget, we want you to join us every night. Please set your DVR, record Hannity the series so you don't miss an episode, 10 Eastern, here at the Fox News Channel. You start your day with Ainsley, Fox and Friends first, 5 a.m., Fox and Friends 6 to 9. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.